All right, folks, it's the holiday season, and you know what? It's about to be New Year's. We got a lot of fun things coming on, but I want to introduce someone. I'm so glad we made this finally happen. Jacob Trevino's here. Jacob, why don't you tell everybody who you are? Oh, well, thanks for having me. I yeah. am the owner of Gorilla Cinema Presents. Uh, we do themed bars and themed entertainment here in Cincinnati. So what are we doing today? Today, we're making eggnog. <laughs> I'm excited. I wanted to try your eggnog for a while. So this is, I, it's also one of those things where I feel like it's a favorite beverage of mine at the holidays. And I don't think people know how easy it is to make. I, I think the, the biggest thing is people get intimidated by it because they see it only in the stores. Right. Uh, but really it's, you know, we're, we're going to be making like a little custard here for you to drink. Yeah. So really just egg, sugar, <laughs> some cinnamon, nutmeg. Uh, we're going to use two different types of milk today to kind of, yeah. you know, we, I talked about, I, I want to chug my eggnog. I, yeah. You know, I, I don't want to be so thick. Uh, we're going to be using some unique eggs today. Though, uh, that's a is, most, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that that is kind of the the newness is typically I'm using chicken eggs. Uh, yeah. Today we wanted to really expand our horizons to see how far into the depths of nog we can go <laughs> to really just dive into the nog hole. Yeah, the and, nog <laughs> hole. Yes, I'm very familiar with the nog hole. And, <laughs> let's, uh, let's see what we got here yeah, today. So we're we're starting off like not so exotic, you know, probably maybe familiar with this. The um, quails. I can say that we, we haven't tried any of these at all, so we're going to try them together today. Yeah, we literally so, came up with this right before we hit record. Look at these yes. little guys. They're so, cute. So uh, we've got quail eggs here. Uh, I'm going to try to start off with three eggs and see see kind of how it goes. Okay. Um, the problem with these quail eggs is they're they're so tiny, uh, but they have a thick inner like membrane. Yeah. Um, there we go. That one's a good one. Uh, eggs in, egg, chef. Eggs in. Uh, <laughs> and then what nog isn't made without a good helping of sugar? Absolutely. So I, I'm going to get your uh, desk extremely sugary. I'm going to pour some sugar on it. Yeah, please do. <laughs> Joe Elliott would have it no other way. For um, the eight listeners that got our Def Leppard. Yes, exactly. <laughs> We've been working on a whole hairband uh, uh, series of jokes. A little bit of nutmeg in here as well. Ooh, so yes. we're going to do our eggs and our nutmeg. Okay. Uh, and then just like a sprinkling of our uh, cinnamon. Uh, Cause I like a little cinnamon in my eggnog. That sounds beautiful. Yeah, um, and we're gonna, we're gonna start to whip that first, you know. So I've got my little hand whipper here, and I love yeah, it. there we go. And for those of you at home, you can also use your Sonicare toothbrush for this. Yes, I don't know uh, if it'll work, but yeah, no, I, I think if you use the base end of the Sonicare, uh, it'll work. So so we want like some good, nice, thick consistency in here. Okay. Uh, and then again, uh, we're going to uh, start with our milk and cream. So uh, we've got uh, some nice vanilla uh, milk. So we're going to do two ounces of that. Yeah. So we use the almond breeze because you were saying this gives it a little more chug ability. Uh, it, not only that, but again, we're adding a little bit of vanilla flavoring in there. That makes sense. Uh, as well as um, the nuttiness from the almonds really kind of thins it out. Some eggnog recipes you'll see uh, just call for whole milk and the heavy cream. Yeah. Uh, again, we want a more nuanced I uh, love nog. <laughs> nuanced nog. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to do equal parts of your almond and heavy whipping cream. All right. So uh, you want to go ahead and give that a good whip for, you know, a good minute and a half with your hand blender. Yeah. And try it. I All was right. worried about it not being cold, but these eggs are really cold and the milk oh, is really cool. cold. So I think we're going to be good to go. Sounds good. Quail nog. Yes. Mm, cheers. Mm, cheers. I love the little nog cups. Oh, baby. Yeah, wow. Oh, my God. That's really good. I, sometimes you impress yourself. You're like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. This is really good. I think because we're using, uh, we got luxury milk. We got luxury eggs. Yeah, this is your Lux nog. Mm. I could keep drinking it like this. Yeah, yeah. legitimately. I'm like... My mind on my money and my money on my nog. All right, nog one's in. It was delicious. What's our next egg? Nog two, duck eggs. Ooh. That's what's quacking. Uh, I've actually never had a duck egg before, have you? Oh, really? I no. actually have, yes. Yeah, so this is a, this is a pretty hefty egg. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of yolk in this one Kettle. as compared to our quail eggs. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That yes. is predominantly yolk. Yeah, that is predominantly yolk. So I'm assuming this one's going to be a little bit thicker. Maybe a little thicker. Yeah, yeah so okay. uh, we're going to cut a little bit of the thickness with some pandan. Ah, another fun thing about Jungle Gyms, international flavors, baby. Yeah, and I'm going to kind of beat this egg up first before we do anything else because it is... It is real thick and hefty before I add my sugar and my cream. 
I'm gonna keep my ratios the same. I feel like those those are good. Ratios it was, I thought it was great. Us. It was the sweetness yes. was perfect. Yep. And yeah, you know, talking about the duck egg too. Uh, they they tend to be a little more rich, uh, a little creamier. Uh, they're an unsung hero. If you like eggs, I would definitely tell you to check them out. They're really good. Uh, and also, if you like a little sweet treat, you could probably make them yourself. However, in our frozen section, we have these duck egg yolk custard buns in frozen Asia. Uh, mm. I don't know if that's a it's international frozen, but it's in the Asian section. Um, they are one of the most luxurious little treats you'll ever try. And I recommend making them in a rice cooker because they'll steam real nice. Anyway, okay, so we're gonna add our cinnamon uh, second, and also okay. gotta get that fresh nutmeg. Yeah, like, oh eggnog yeah, eggnog is not eggnog without a little fresh, fresh nut. nutmeg. I mean, buy yourself a grater, man. Treat yourself. Yeah, to the season. Yeah, you're microplaning, with, baby. Yes, yeah, with with a little microplane. I've been macroplaning my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still on the micro level. One day, <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll be on it's the macro just level. Huge sheets of nutmeg. Yes. Like, why is this so potent? I think we're, I think we're ready for for for, for nog, nog two. two. All right, the sequel, the popular sequel, <laughs> yeah. everyone's been waiting for. Yes. <laughs> Every time we can now. Yeah, there we go. That's um, ooh, yeah. That pandan came through real nicely too. The, the pandan comes through, but it's it's got <laughs> like a, like a like not gamey, but it's definitely it di it's different. Right. Yeah. So it's, you can tell you used a, not a chicken egg. You definitely can tell that there is something unique about this knob. Yeah. And I like it, it's. I'm I really struggle to describe the pandan flavor too. Where it, like it's like a little nutty. It's a little. You said minty. I kind of see what you mean. Yeah. It's it's kind of got like a little bit of a sh sugary like um, almost like baked sugar cookie taste to it. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, a little I get bit. That almost kind of like it, it like hits some of the vanilla notes. For yes, me. it does. Definitely but does green. that. I'd say that's actually pretty good. I mean, you know, uh, the green color works. It's festive and. Uh, I, I like the thickness. It's it's T H I C C thick. <laughs> you know how we like our women, and uh, I think you you get yourself a healthy pour of this with some bourbon. All right, Jacob. Nog two is delicious. I think nog three. It's time. What egg are we? Is that an avocado you brought? Well, I thought maybe we could make a. Pokemon eggnog? Oh, a little dinosaur egg for the holidays. Yes, um, but it's actually an emu egg. You know, we do carry a lot of interesting eggs here, like uh, emu eggs, rhea eggs, uh, ostrich eggs, what they call them, rat types, I believe is the expression. Yes, so uh, we're, this is going, I don't think this has ever been done before, so you're seeing this <laughs> first forever. Yeah. Uh, we're uh, uh, yes. starting trends here. Yeah, exactly. I don't even know what this looks like inside. Yeah, so uh, we're going we're gonna... to... <laughs> 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 oh, there we go. There we all go. Right. All yeah, right. Yeah, that's that's this is the way to do it. I feel like John Hammond right now watching yes. this. I spared no expense. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Okay. Ooh, so we got a so we've noticed something already, which is interesting. There's a lot of yolk in this. It's uh, picking so, it up. It was really heavy. I yeah, mean, it feels it's, like yeah. So this, it, you know, typically there's like an air pocket. In, yeah. In each egg, this looks like it's going to be all yolk. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, uh, one, uh, if we can kind of zoom in here, uh, this is all like the yolk in this thing is massive. Oh my gosh! And we're, yeah, we're, we're, we're bleeding down the uh, beautiful the catch. Table. Yes, yeah. So um, I'm gonna pour a little bit of the the egg white out. Okay. And we're gonna make this eggnog directly in the egg. I'm in. Sugar. <laughs> Sugar. Oh, it is so thick that the. The, the oh, is it the, seizing up? Yeah, it's seizing huh? up. So I might have ah, oh, there you <laughs> go, a little splash. So I might have to do this the old-fashioned way. Nothing beats the old-fashioned style. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nothing beats a good old-fashioned. All right. All right. So we've got our sugar in there. Okay. Whipping cream. Cream in. Almond milk. Yes. Got to keep it loose, loosey goosey. Well, and because this is so thick, I'm actually gonna add extra almond milk. We need a special ingredient. Yeah. Uh, so for this, we're gonna add some ube flavor. Oh. Yes. One, it's gonna turn it an awesome color of purple, which I feel like would be. Ooh, baby. Oh, yeah. That's a that's a lot of ube. It's oh, gonna hey. Ube it up. Uh, and then of course, can't forget the nutmeg. You know, gotta get like some good nutmeg in oh, there. Oh yeah. And then of course, just a. a Pinch. A pinch of cinnamon. A cinnamon. Your cinnamon bay today. Yes, cinnamon Ube bay. and yes, cinnamon bay. Ube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that color is oh, glorious. Yeah. <laughs> All right. A little cri I, Christmas pud. Yeah, a little Christmas pud. We are we're ready to try the world's first emu eggnog. Oh baby. <laughs> the thickness is real. Like it is, yeah. you know. Ooh, and I can smell the drink from here, and it yeah. smells amazing. Cheers to Cheers. that. Cheers. Jacob, thank you so much. 
the thickness is real. Like if you like your eggnog, and I I like it both ways, so yes. I'm very happy about if the texture. If you like your eggnog thick and rich and like b- borderline des- like dessert, it's custard. Yeah, yeah it's custard. It's yes, that's awesome. For your next holiday, just buy a few hundred dollar emu eggs. And- <laughs> And you can impress all your guests. If someone wants to take me on a date, this is how you should do it. <laughs> I can say this will be coming to Miracle at the Overlook Lodge next year. Uh, you can try our emu egg. egg the Christmas, the, the tradition of the Christmas emu egg. Ex- exactly. Yeah, we'll we're, start we're, it. We're, no, hey, great. Jacob, seriously, yeah. thank you so much. I'll treat you one more time. It was no, delicious. Thanks for coming out. And hey, where can everybody find, where's the best way way to follow you and all of your- The uh, best place to follow me is Jake Should Instagram. Okay. I love Instagram. I love talking to people on Instagram. Send me your funny memes and videos. Uh, but you can also follow Gorilla Cinema Presents on all your major platforms. Uh, that'll lead you to every bar, every pop-up, every fun thing that we're doing around the city. Yeah. So we absolutely love doing fun stuff like this. You might wander into one of our bars and this might be on the menu soon. I kind of hope so. This is great. I think, did you have a favorite of the three? I think my first was the first one. The quail? I think quail was like- It hit the, the most traditional notes across yes. the board. I'm tied between quail and the emu I, I egg. Mean, the emu egg is the showstopper though. It really like, is. You really, like, I'm like about yes. to pour more. Yeah, pour more. Yeah, yeah. I had an aggressive pour that time and not me. I'm like, oh, well, he's in it.